We're trying to summarize the vast amount of information that's out there on all of the web pages and all the libraries and all the government reports in one place. At least that's the dream. My name is Chris Ray. I'm a professor in Stanford University in the Department of Computer Science. I work on the problem of taking unstructured information, that's information that looks like text, tables, figures, and images, and trying to create structure out of it that machines can understand. For problems that I care about and that many scientists care about, you need to have a huge amount of data to understand them. People who have been following computer science for the last couple of years have witnessed this change and explosion in what various branches of computer science can actually do for them. Natural language processing has sort of hit this inflection point. This is basically taking in sentences, raw natural language text, and being able to make them into a more structured form that a machine can understand. If you remember diagramming sentences in middle school, this is basically what a computer can do in an automated way with very, very high quality. It must equal the same type as the input. Okay, right. And then you just plug in. Deep Dive was a project that we started a couple of years ago basically in response to what we called macroscopic problems. These are problems where the information for a particular analysis is out there scattered throughout the literature. and We wanted to bring that information into one place. Deep Dive is what we call a dark data system. What this means is that it's going from this unstructured information, text, tables, and figures, to this structured information, a structured database. Now, if you imagine trying to tell a computer how to go from that unstructured information to that structured information, you'd imagine that you have to basically program in a bunch of choices. You have to tell the computer when it looks at a particular character, is this character part of a word or not? Is this word actually referencing a rock formation, let's say, that I'm interested in or not? You have to make a series of these choices. What Deep Dive allows you to do is simply what we call declare those choices. You say, here are the choices that I need to make in my program. Here are you know, sort of the bounds on what those decisions actually could be. And you set up that entire process. We ran into people who were in areas like paleobiology. And they were trying to build basically a big database of where every fossil was found anywhere on the Earth. Another place that it's used is in things like genomics. We have a collaboration ongoing here with Stanford Hospital where we're actually reading the literature about different uh, associations between genes and diseases and trying to put that information all together to try and potentially diagnose rare diseases. You can really have impacts on you know, genomics to paleobiology to human trafficking. It's just in a remarkable time. My reaction when I got the call from MacArthur was, I have to say, it's one of the things you dream about, is all these projects that you've had and said, that's too crazy, you'll never be able to do that. And now it looks like you can. <laughs> so that's very exciting.